First, we are incredibly proud to introduce Quest 3, the first mainstream mixed reality headset. <laughs> Quest 3 is it's the most powerful headset that we have ever shipped, and it allows you to blend the physical and digital worlds together. You can navigate it with our, just your hands if you want, and the hand tracking is getting really good. Um, or with these brand new precision controllers that we've designed for games or work or things that you, where you want some extra precision. And, you know, of course, it's completely standalone. No wires, no battery pack, you know, nothing like that that's going to break your, your sense of presence. So when you put on Quest 3, uh, you see the physical room around you. Only now it is a canvas that you can bring your digital objects into the world. You know, Quest 3, it, it, it understands your space so you can play with the world around you. You can solve Lego puzzles or you can build your own creations on any flat surface in your room. You can play games like BAM with your friends sitting around a table whether you're physically right there together or even if they're far away. You know, people love working out in Quest. But now, if you're doing a body combat workout, the targets are going to come at you in your physical room, whether you're in your living room or if you're, you're, uh, you're in your home gym, you're be able to look around and see the room around you, so you're going to be a lot more comfortable you know, swinging your arms and moving your body. The limits of your physical space are going to be able to expand. So you're going to be able to be a part of much larger worlds. You know, there's one point in the Stranger Things game where you can be sitting in your living room or anywhere else, and portals to the upside down open right there. Now, these experiences are possible because Quest 3 shows your physical space with 10 times more pixels than what we had on Quest 2. And it automatically maps the space that you're in using two dedicated color camera sensors and a depth sensor, which makes it so that if you, you know, pick up a digital ball and throw it at the physical wall, it'll bounce off it. Or if someone's shooting at you and you want to duck the fire, you can just get behind your physical couch. Now, this also means that you're going to be able to take a big virtual screen and just drop it wherever you are, and it'll show up in your physical room. And, and this is going to unlock a lot of awesome experiences for hanging out with people, watching content, and even if they're not there with you. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm pretty excited to share today is that X, uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming is coming to Quest in December. So you're going to be able to play you know, hundreds of Xbox games, including titles like Halo and Minecraft and Elder Scrolls. And you're going to be able to do that on a massive screen anywhere you go. Now, we're just scratching the surface of, of what's going to be possible when you can drop virtual objects into your physical space. And next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So you know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can put a digital portal next to your physical workout gear, so every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural workout. So there's a lot to do here. All right, and with mixed reality on Quest 3, um, the transition is, is seamless. So if you're in an immersive experience, you can always just double tap on your headset to get back to your physical environment. And you'll see the immersive world that you're in just melts away. You're back in your physical space. All right, I'm really excited to see what all of you do with this. I'm really excited to get this in your hands. This is going to be a big a game changer and a, a big capacity improvement for, for these headsets. Now, on top of this, we also have the world's best library of fully immersive content. And there are a bunch of new titles that are coming, and they take advantage of all of the new power that is in this Quest 3 headset. Because this is the first headset that is shipping with the next generation uh, Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 
Qualcomm processor. It's got twice the graphics performance of anything we've shipped before. And we designed new pancake lenses and paired them with new displays. So the graphics performance is, is really stunning. So let's take a look at Asgard's Wrath 2. For the original, you needed a full gaming PC and a headset that was wired to it um, in order to get it to work. And the sequel runs natively on Quest 3, and it looks awesome. Assassin's Creed Nexus, <laughs> finally here, <laughs> finally here. Worth waiting for. I, I know a lot of us have been waiting for this. Um, it just, it looks stunning, it looks stunning. And there were a bunch of other major developers who were bringing great titles out of the open app lab uh, that, that we have, like Roblox, which is launching today. I'm really excited for this one after taking the time to optimize it for VR. It's going to be a big deal. There's also a, a major live sports season coming up with X Stadium. Uh, so, you know, we got fully immersive NBA games for free on us. You know, you can literally sit courtside from your couch. Um, if you're into fighting like me, um, you can watch LFA or Cage Warriors from UFC Fight Pass in 180 degree 4K resolution. Um, pretty much the next best thing to actually being in the octagon. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome too. Um, <laughs> we've got a lot of awesome new Horizon content coming. <laughs> Love it. Shout out to Super Rumble and Citadel, which have gone to the top of the, the charts of popular Horizon destinations. Um, you know, as you can see, the, the visuals continue making big steps up. And, and these are just some of the most, most fun social games that are out there. Um, in addition to all this, there are also a bunch of tools for businesses that are coming to. You know, millions of people uh, have, have used you know, one of the hundreds of productivity and work apps uh, on Quest. And next month, we are launching MetaQuest for Business, which is going to allow you to take mixed reality and bring it to your organization at scale. So you know, this is going to be compatible with Microsoft Intune, VMware, Workspace ONE, Avanti UEM. Um, and we got Microsoft 365 also coming to Quest by the end of this year. So you're going to be able to use you know, the productivity apps where you can get stuff done, Word, Excel. Overall, all right, so that's a bunch of the content that's coming. There's more coming as well, but that's what I have to talk about today. I'm really excited about Quest 3. It is the most powerful headset yet with the next generation processor, better displays and optics. It's 40% thinner, a lot more comfortable, and it comes with the great new precision controllers or the awesome hand tracking that has just gotten a lot better. You know, end to end, we have designed this thing and optimized it, the hardware stack, the software stack, so it can deliver amazing mixed reality and the world's best immersive content library. So there it is. Yeah. All right, Quest 3, it is shipping on August 10th. You can order it today for $499.